and shake the powder first. Like that. The pink. Shade the powder every time before you're using it. And you need to use the nail tips or any stick to stir the powder to avoid the powder sticking together. So now it's getting smooth now. Every time, just use the nail tips or any stick to stir the powder to avoid it when you're using it getting bumpy or uneven. Okay, now we're not going to use our number one base. We need to apply a very thin layer for the entire nail. From middle to left to the right. Slightly and slowly. And you need to brush it near a little bit for the critical area. And 50 and 45 degrees angle to dip into the powder to create a smile line. And stay for a second and take out. And now you need to keep your finger completely down. Don't let the white powder go up over your smile line and dip into the pink powder. And take off any excess powder. Now we're going to use the base again. Just follow our tutorial to brush the dipper evenly and let your brush flat and brush the nail surface evenly and dip into the white powder. Create a perfect smile line. Stay for a second and then let your finger completely down and dip into the pink powder. Because our powder is fast and dipping powder, so you don't need to worry the powders will bleed with together. So every time just apply the thin layer of our base. From middle left to the right. So now we're gonna to dip into the white powder and slightly. Do not hurry to make it. You need to wait for a little bit longer. And then dip into the pink powder. Do not worry it will be flick with together because our powder is fresh and dipping powder. So now we need to take off any excess. gonna show you another again because another two finger we're gonna to use the dip tray show you how to use the dip tray to make it and now we are gonna to apply another layer on for the base and follow your last layer smile line and then dip in two as you can see the smile line is getting clear and dip into the Pink powder. Take off any excess powder. Now, repeat this step to brush again on the nail plate. We're gonna to dip into the white powder, 45 degree angle, and to follow your last smile light and create a clear and straight smile light like that. And take off any excess powder and dip into the pink powder. Stay for a second and take off. And remember every time you need to apply the second layer, you need to take off the excess powder because it won't ruin your second layer and will not stick with your brush. So now we are going to dip into the white powder slightly. Let it stay for a second. And we are going to 
dip into the pink powder. Okay. So now we need to take off any excess powder from the nail cuticle or your nail plate. Next, we're gonna to use our dip tray. This dip tray's acrylic material is crystal clear. And we need to open it and pour the white powder inside it. You can pour the quantity, the volume of the powder as you need. And every time just shake it, make the surface more even. So now we're gonna use the vase. With a thin layer, cannot to over years the deeper base, and just focus on the near critical. And every time shake it even, and straightly dip into the white powder, and take out, let your finger completely down, and later to dip into the pink powder. Tap off. So for the next finger, we are gonna for the same step. To apply the base to keep your brush flat and brush entire nail. And every time shade the white powder. And dip into the white powder, dip into the shape slightly to create a smile line. And take out, let your finger completely down, and dip into the pink powder. Stay for a second, must be. Tap off any excess. Every time, just use the brush to brush off any powder, excess powder. Okay, for the second layer, we need to apply evenly like every layer and this time we need to follow your first layer smile light and dip into the white powder okay as you can see the smile light is getting clear and straight and now we're going to take off any excess Repeat the step of this one. Left to the right. And shade your nail white powder. Let the surface more even and your nail plates will not get bumpy. Stay for a second. And dip into the Pink powder, let it soft for a little mi minute. So take off any excess, use the brush. Okay, we're gonna to, every time, just keep the cap tightly closed to avoid pollution. Actually, for our first strand dipping powder is the point you do not need to use the activator before you filing. Now we're using the nail machine. For this part, if you don't have the nail drill that's used the file, like the buffer block, it's okay too. So we're gonna fire the near the critical part of the nail edge. Now we're gonna use this one.
battery, we're gonna use the link free wipe to remove any dust from a nail plate. And this part to avoid later the dust will stick with your brush. Now we're going to use the activator. Okay, we're going to apply the activator with the thin layer. So for our Wi-Fi strand dipping powder, you just need to use it. Use the activator for one time before you apply the top coat. Because for our activator, you need to use it to get to let the top get dry and get more shiny. So now we are going to use our top, the number three. For our number three top, you need to use it for two times. And every layer, this layer, is for apply thin layer for your entire nail. Just from the middle left to the right. For the first layer, you cannot to apply too much the blue. Very thin layer on from the middle left to the right. And then I from your now surface get dumb or matte. It's still sticky, half dry. Then apply the second layer. Please do not hesitate to use this step because our first strand dipping powder, you need to follow this step. When you half dry but still sticky, you need to apply another layer on for our top coat. And don't forget the nail edge every time. And to avoid your powder cracking from the nail edge. And don't forget the near the critical area too. And now we are ready to apply the second layer. For another two, we just apply this first layer. Follow our step is the tips. You need to apply very thin layer on the first for your entire nail. And every time, don't forget the nail edge. When you find it's half dry but still sticky, we are going to apply the second layer. Now we're going to apply the second layer. You need to use much more top than the first layer. For our top, normally it could be dried within one minute. Now you could see the stopwatch. And now for our French nail already done, using the dip tray, and you could create the perfect smile line. And here we have text stained our top coat, the time of the top coat for drying. So it's super easy to apply, right? For the French nail, we have some tips. First, you need to do all preparation. And secondary, you need to apply the base, very thin layer. And do not overuse our activator. For the activator, you just need to use it before the top coat to make the, to make the top get dried and super shiny. So for the top coat, you need to use it two times. One layer and another layer, you need to Wait for the first layer half dry but still sticky. Then apply the second layer. So now we're testing whether it get dry. So the top coat already dry. Now our French now already done. We're showing you. It's super easy to follow our tutorial, right? Don't worry, you could find these videos on the YouTube link too.